everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to recreate this look. I mean, I love this look. I've gone out of my comfort zone, but it's good for pride, for parties, for festivals. And it's actually a lot easier than you think to do. So yeah, just carry on watching and let's just get started. anything I have instead of using like an eyeshadow primer I've actually used the revolution conceal and define for this eyeshadow look because I'm using the James Charles palette I found this one is actually worked best for me for blending and like getting the pigment for the best and like most out of it sorry about me dropping everything on the floor so I'm gonna start with like the red color in here bear with I don't know the name of it oh my god it's so awkward to open with nails on so as you can see my brush is already a bit pink just ignore that but I'm gonna start with this like bright sort of red tone in the middle and I'll show you guys where I'm gonna pop it oh my god life hack I've managed to balance it between my legs and my drawer so you're not gonna need a lot obviously it's really highly pigmented so I don't need a lot and you're gonna start like here and kind of dab it on is the best like way to do it And don't worry if you get in your inner eye because like it doesn't matter how far it blends you just need this little bit here so I've done the red don't worry about any mess that you make because like you can kind of do that anyway I am gonna go on with the next color so I'm gonna go in with a color which is just above it it's the most awkward palette to hold I'm gonna go in with this orange tone it's very bold as well so I'm gonna pop that next to it so they join together <laughs> So there's your first two colours done. So I just popped off camera and did the other eye. This looks so weird so far. For the next one, I've taken another smaller round brush because I'm doing a yellow. I don't want to use like the same brush in okay, case so the fallout comes off and the colours just don't blend well. I'm going to go in with this, this yellow because this one's a lot brighter than this one. And I mean, we're going for a bold rainbow here. So kind of need the bold colours. And I go in and do exactly the same as what I did with the first two. There we go. Okay, this brush isn't great. I think I'm gonna have to change it up. I don't wanna use this brush just yet, but I'm gonna go in with this one. That's better. So I kind of feel like a fruit pastel lolly so far, but I kind of like it. I mean, I would just leave it like this and blend it out, but we're going for the rainbow. So I'm gonna use the same brush again because I don't really need it. I'm gonna wash them afterwards anyway. And I'm going with this green right at the bottom. And I know the only shade I know the name of actually is Daddy, which is one next to it. Um, I'm gonna go in with the bright green at the bottom and do the same again on both eyes. So I added it in a part of Daddy because I wanted a bit more green in it, and I feel like this is working. So I dabbed a bit in that shade too, just so I could get more of the colour out. So they've naturally blended themselves together quite nicely. I'm feeling this look so far. So for the next part, I didn't bring my blue brush out, no. I'm going to go in with this like bright blue right here next to the dark blue. I might mix these two together depending on how it comes out. But let's give it a go and see how it goes. I don't think we need to add the other colour, so we're all good. And for the last colour, I am going to change my brush up to my pinky one. That's a bit mangled. I'm going to go in with a mixture of probably these two. Right, I need to change my brush up. And this is because I'm going to blend it out more now, so I'm going to use a little bit more. I'm not going to be doing just a tiny bit. You guys will see what I mean in a second. So I'm just going to mix the two together. And what I'm going to do, because this is going outwards, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to... Okay, this purple is really bold. I've got black all over my nose, and I don't know where it's come from or what I've done. I'll tell you what it's from. I did a nose pore strip this morning. That is what it's from. Also, ignore the fallout on my um on my face because I haven't done my foundation yet, and this is why. So for this part, we're just gonna blend it out and do this don't worry too much i'm just gonna add a bit more purple into this 
So this is how you cut your crease. And I mean, you could do this with any color. I just thought rainbow would be cool. And I mean, I like doing this sort of look. Even though I have to go with Morrison's like this. So with hooded eyelids, I don't know if you have hooded eyelids then, yeah. Um, I like to do this. And I'm gonna do this all the way across because normally if I'm doing a half cut crease, I'm gonna have to worry. And I'm just gonna look up. So it sort of gives me like where I need to start cutting my crease. I just need a little bit more. There we go. Right, I'm gonna do this side first and start cutting my crease outwards. I'm also taking my Freedom brush, which is just a flat concealer brush. And I'm gonna start here. Okay guys, I'm no James Charles, so don't at me for this. But I'm gonna dab a bit here so I can work and make the cut crease a bit more like, I don't know how to explain it. But see, so you like work it like this and out and up a bit. So that is how I do my cut crease. This is coming out kind of well, I'm kind of proud of this. So I did the other side of camera, look how weird this looks before you do your like eyeliner and stuff. So I've just got myself a flat brush and I'm going in before I like do it. I'm going in with the white shade from the James Charles palette now because I mean you can use any colour but I like white because it makes the rainbow stand out more. I'm just going to pat it and like sort of dab it on. I mean, if you want to use your fingers, you can, like, I'm tempted to. I'm going to try the fluffy side, see if this comes out better. I think I'm just going to use my finger, so you can see the white more, that's coming out. So now I can see the white more, just to set, like, my cut crease. And, I mean, you can use pink, any sort of shade you want. It doesn't look weird, I mean, with a normal cut crease, you do, like, a darker sort of, like, where your you want your crease to be. But for this look, I'm actually going to use like a glitter liner. I'm going to go for a more warm tone one because the last time I did this, I used a silver and like, I did like it, but I'm fancy using a smaller one, like a smaller one, a warmer toned one. So I'm going in with the gold, just the makeup gallery one from Poundland because this is amazing. And it is the only one I use. And I'm going to do this along the crease of where I've made my new crease. So I did my other eye off camera so you guys can see the crease and the glitter so far. The next part is liquid liner so I'm just going in with my savers one because this is my holy grail and I love this and I promise you get a new one soon because I use it so much. So I'm going to go in with my normal eyeliner. So this is most of the eye look done. You can either add mascara or add lashes. I'm going to add lashes so I'll pop them on. I'm going to do my base as well because I haven't actually got any base done and I'll be right back. So I'm back, I just finished my base, so I used my Revolution foundation, I used my Primark powder, MUA highlighter, and I just went for a new glossy look, so I'm using a, a matte lipstick, I can't think what the new shade's called, and then just a clear natural collection gloss over the top, and this is how the finished look came out. Oh, also the lashes I've used, if you're wondering, are Pinky Goat ones in Superdrug, and these are the Rhubarb ones. I literally love these lashes, and I got them for 60p, I'm not complaining, but I actually love this look. I'm really pleased with how it's turned out, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to see some more bold looks, so show me the bold looks if you try something out like this. Like, it takes practice, but after a while, you kind of get used to, like, the sort of different colours and that, and just go wild, like... Go out of your comfort zone. I just did. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video.